sociable tandem. I guess sociable recumbent tandem. This is a, this bag here we put in. You can hold whatever in there. It's a fairly good sized bag. You, you can actually put a platform here and even like maybe a pet carrier. As we have some water bottle, you know, water bottle racks and then the seats, they're recumbent seats. These cushions are, uh, I got these I think from German in Germany. Uh, ordered them online. Venti rest I think or venti something. But they, they're ventilated real good and they give you some, they're nice and comfortable plus they keep you cool. You know, because they're ventilated. And put on the mirrors and you can see the two sets of pedals. The steering. Now again, only can steer from this seat. And you can kind of get a look at there's the sprockets and the and the hub, giving you the you know pretty decent gear selection. Take a look at it from the side. And front. Uh, we don't have our flags on there. The flag, I think I snapped the flag, but usually we'll have a flag on there just to visibility purposes. Uh, but just riding around the na neighborhood, they, the, most of the people that live around here expect to see us doing something silly. And they, uh, there's no big surprises when they see this on the road anymore. And here we are on the road with our sociable recumbent tandem. The steering is with these steering levers, kind of like driving an old personnel vehicle. What do you think about riding the sociable tandem with that? It. it allows us to talk, in fact we have such a good time and it's really good exercise. It is, it is really good exercise. The other parts I'm not so sure about, but the exercise is fantastic. But obviously you're not going to get regular bicycle speeds with this. It weighs, what did we say it weighs? Like 60 pounds, I think it was. It's like 60 or 70 pounds, so it's pretty heavy. But we love to tool around in it. We haven't used it for a while, but whenever we get it out, it's, it is a nice little way to ride the bike. Off That's right. Yeah, we have some trails in the neighborhood here, and we'll go on some of them. I'll turn the camera on when we go, get back there. But they're kind of caliche and dirt. Kind of like Actually, this, this right. we'll go right up here right now. Yeah, actually, we had a little bit of a mishap with our sociable tandem uh, on this road. This is where my seat broke. And I got, I did get a boo-boo from that. You remember that, honey? You hit a few too many ruts and the, the weld broke. But uh, we have a Steve and he was able to weld it back and we checked the Lidette seat real good, make sure that, that one was going to be all right. And uh, so I think we're pretty much set now. It's one of the back roads in our neighborhood.
That's a big boy. He's got some wheels, that dog. Look at him go. I don't know if you could see that. He's a fast one. And we're turning back on to Lone Star. It's my favorite street name. And that was right from the movie with Rick Moranis as Dark Helmet. Spaceballs. I believe it won like seven Academy Awards, including Best Picture that year. And if you uh, doubt me, I would, you know, I challenge you to look it up. Straight, you want to go? And here we go, we're heading down. Uh, it's a dead end down here. See, off to the right, behind these houses. Oh, there's the, uh, yeah, the motorcycle. I don't know if you can see that. He's got a sidecar on that bike. Really cool. But behind these houses on the right is uh, the cattle ranch. Oh, here. These guys are, they're a hoot too. The little one gets out under the fence. The little one thinks he's as big as the other two. He comes out and he'll challenge us whenever we walk, we're walking. As a matter of fact, here he comes now. Nice legs, good legs. Yeah. He's something else. We have a, do we have a horn? We have one of those real loud air horns. Obviously, we don't really need it for that for that little dog. Now, this is the cattle ranch on our right. And the cattle are out today. There's our air horn. That's for in case we are really under threat of attack. Which has happened before. You remember that, honey? Oh, yeah. So you see the cattle? I don't know. Again, I don't know if you'll be able to see that with these action cameras. Anything beyond a couple of feet is really hard to make out, but we'll see what it looks like when we review the video later. Now he's, he's waiting for us, see? He, he's conserving his energy. And he's just lying in wait. Killer. Look at him. Look at that. Uh, no, don't chase now. Going home. Look at him. He's faster than we are. Oh, no, don't, don't run into the bike. No. Go. Okay. We're gonna, I don't want to run him over. Go. Go on home. Go on home. Now go home, baby. It'll wear him out eventually. That's a good boy. Good boy. Go home, boy. That's a good boy. He's protecting that house. He's going to go back and tell those big dogs how he just protected the house. Is that a deer up there? Yeah. Uh, we might have a cl close look at a deer. That's the neat thing about living here. We have the deer and the hawks. Lots of interesting wildlife. And they just come in, they'll, they'll come out, the deer will come right out, right out in the road here. Cattle ranch is off to the left now. And as it gets closer to dusk, they, that's their time. They come out and they'll be out there by the dozens. And there's, we got a little, we got a, well there's three, right? No, four. So there's, hopefully you can see that crossing. They're all crossing right in front of us. Okay, 
Yeah. Now it's actually a little early for them. Usually it's right around dusk that we we tend to see them in groups like that, but Well the kids have to go to bed early. Yeah. Well it's coming going back to school now.